To safely and properly operate a shutoff gun splitter, there are a few simple quick steps you'll need to take prior to blasting. First, set up your shutoff gun splitter, also known as the nitrogen regulating valve. The shutoff gun splitter can be dolly mounted for portability or mounted to a unit. Connect the hoses from the shutoff gun splitter to the pumping unit. In this demonstration, we are using a large diesel driven pump, but any of the Gardner Denver water jetting units will work. Double check that the nitrogen bottle used in the shutoff gun splitter is charged. When furnished from the factory, it will be empty for safety reasons during shipment. You'll be responsible for charging it. Next, connect the water blasting guns to the shutoff gun splitter. Now, turn on the pump and engage the drive. Bring the pump up to speed while the flow control valve is open. Once the pump is up to speed, you need to fully close the flow control valve. It is very important that the flow control valve is completely closed. You can now slowly bring the pressure up by opening the valve to the nitrogen bottle until the desired pressure is achieved. When you need to increase or decrease pressure during operation, simply add or remove nitrogen. At this point, all your guns are operating at the same pressure. When an operator releases his trigger, the pressure will remain the same on all the other guns. We provide the tougher tools for your tough jobs.